Good day. Good day. I am Renee. I'm Gerald. We are Arise Kingdom Life Ministries. Thank you for joining us on day 15 of Proverbs and Prayer. Yeah. We are grateful to God. And if you have a testimony, a praise report, you can email us at we arise at arise kingdom life. Dot com. We would love to hear from you and pray with you and all of the above. We just love people. So that is our heart's desire. But tonight we're going to do chapter 15 of the book of Proverbs. And Pastor Blackman is going to lead and explaining and giving you insight for clarity in Jesus name. Yeah, and we're not going to go through the entire chapter 15. What we've been doing so far this month, and we've been going through, we've been reading the Proverbs daily. They've been our, our prayer, our promise that we would read, uh, read the Proverbs every day. And then from there, we would allow the Holy Spirit to just lead us and share in what we're sharing uh, before we pray together as a people. In the and so uh, we've been looking for uh, for today, I mean, for each day is for God, like I said, to open up our eyes of under and our ears of understanding. And that's part of what Proverbs is about. It's about opening up our eyes and our ears um, for understanding so that we can have knowledge, understanding, mm -hmm. and then be able to operate in wisdom. Amen. amen. And so when we look at uh, the Proverbs, when we look at Proverbs, uh, most of them, it has to do with the, uh, the finding wisdom. And then operating in wisdom. And it also um, actually points to the, the heart of God and God's way of doing things, um, characteristics of, of believers that the believers should have. And so you'll have stuff that says like a gentle response diffuses anger. But a sharp tongue kindles a temper, a, 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 a temper fire. So what that lets you know is that, 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 that we should be gentle in our response. Um, when we're de especially when we're de dealing with situations of anger, we should not just snap and go off and let that sharp tongue fight. But we should be have we should respond in a gentle way. Now that does not mean that we should be weak right, and right. be a punk. Right, right, no, right. but what it means is that it's me getting mad, cussing, yelling, and using my words to attack you. I've got to realize who the real enemy is because I wrestle against flesh and blood. Yes. And so when we're upset, we've got to watch what we say, and we've got to go from being up here, up, up here in our response to down here. In our response, all right, just trying to get it where y'all can see. And sometimes that is a challenge. Yeah. Um, it's a challenge to have to do that because sometimes you may also think that you are being gentle, but right. you're not. And right. so, being able to accept correction is also something that is a characteristic of a believer. Um, and it says uh, also knowledge flows like spring water from the wise. Fools are leaky faucets dripping nonsense. This is in the message Bible. And so one of the things, again, that we see here in the Proverbs is the heart of God. We see ways of handling situation. We see knowledge from the kingdom as to how to deal with problems and situations in our lives and get the God given results. And that's what many of us desire to know from God. We want to know, how am I supposed to handle this? Right. What am I supposed to do? Well, the Proverbs is a place where we can learn how to handle certain things. It's the start. Yeah. It's the start of being able to go from, from, from darkness. Now, how? let's move into light. And let's start acting certain ways so that we can glorify God, but so that we can no longer walk in foolishness. 
And that's what it, again, that's even pointed out in the Proverbs. And, and, and I have to admit, and I put it down for me to share with you, I have been guilty. I've been guilty of, of, of being lazy. I've been guilty of ignoring God, of being arrogant, of being greedy, of being undisciplined, of being uh, sharp-tongued, or, uh, or I've lived, there are some areas where I've lived a, uh, a misspent life, where I just not even acknowledged God until I'm already into something. Right, right, right. And so reading the Proverbs helps me to see the errors of my ways. Right, right, right. And helps me understand his ways. Right. See, just because God says, my ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts, doesn't mean that we can't ever know God's ways or or ever know (laughs) God's thoughts. He's just letting us know the way you think in the flesh. What you've learned and how you've learned to handle situations from the kingdom of darkness, that's not how I deal. Right, right. I flow totally different. And you need Mm -hmm. to get to know my flow so that then you can produce the fruit of the kingdom of God in your life and no longer produce poverty and sickness and 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 dread and dread and depression and 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 criminal activity and no longer produce at sexual immorality and 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 and, and so foolishness that's good with that foolishness folly yes where your mouth is sharp or your tongue geared you are and you're learning to align yourself with what God says, what the Holy Spirit is saying. And and the thing is that we've got to understand that, yes, God, I mean, God gets angry at us uh, when we make mistakes, but God's anger does not last long. In the Proverbs, it says that a loving father corrects his child. And God corrects us when we're wrong. Right. And and his anger doesn't last. So now it's, he he gives us, because of his grace, in his mercy, he gives us an opportunity to get it right. right. If there was no chance to get it right, then we might as well just go on and die. But that's not the heart of God. So God is forgiving. In First John uh, chapter 1, verse 9, uh, the scripture says, um, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But we have to be willing to admit that we are wrong. Yeah. To uh to ask God for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Um, even you know, and that's and and that's you know, we think that asking for forgiveness means repentance. No, repentance is changing the way we think. So when we realize that what we did was wrong, mm-hmm. we come to God and ask God to forgive us. But then we've got to change how we think. We've got to then ask God to reveal to us how he wanted us to handle it, how we should handle this in the future so that I can repent, meaning change the way I think about this and respond in the appropriate godly way. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. And so in doing so, we must change the way we think and we must pursue knowledge, understanding of it, and operate in wisdom because that's the change that the the change is in our the way we think but the change is uh manifested or seen through our actions so if we talked earlier about about a gentle response if you uh uh you we hear this tonight about a gentle response but then next time something happens it's still then that means i didn't change the way i think yeah right 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 but in reading this the next time something bad happens if i stop and instead of reacting i respond and my response is according to scripture god's way i can still be angry true the bible says be angry and And sin not not. so i can still be angry and sad but my response 
I want my response to truly be heard. Right, right, right. Then my response needs to be a gentle response. Right. And so when I decide I'm not even going to fuss, I'm just going to talk about it. And I'm going to talk because see, not because see, your talking can be sharp either as well. Yeah, and yeah. But we're going to respond with the compassion of Jesus, with kindness and gentleness. Now, Jesus, no, no, I'm going to tell you now, Jesus wasn't always kind in his response, especially not to them Pharisees. But even in that, it's still kind because I'm letting you know the truth. Yeah, he let them know the truth. <laughs> I mean, that is still kind because I could but have that, not told you. <laughs> but he, it didn't happen. It, it didn't, wasn't soft. How about that? It, it does, it's not recorded that Jesus snapped on folk and went off on them. But it is recorded what he said. You brew the vipers. Yeah. You sons of snakes. What makes you think, I mean, which is better to heal somebody on the, on the Sabbath day? On the Sabbath day, if your donkey, and he, yeah, if your donkey fall in the well, you're going to go get him out the well. Right. Why come I can't heal this person on the, uh, hello? And so the point is, when we get instruction from God, we've got to change. We've got to ask God to forgive us, change the way we think. Yes. And come back with new I actions because we have new thinking. Yes, yes. And growing in the kingdom is about new thinking. Yes. And some things we think are right. We read this on for the 14th. There is a way that seems right, but it's in its destruction. Meaning there are some things we think is kingdom, but it's not. No, that's why it's important for us to seek God in prayer so that he can show us his ways and how he wants us to respond. And we not be bound to a way that we think is right, but is it? Amen to this. So we're going to pray and ask God to forgive us. We're going to pray and oh, ask man. the Holy Spirit to, to give us knowledge understanding so that an insight so that we can uh change what we think and we've been praying this all week so we're declaring that we are receiving the insight and the knowledge and the understanding yeah amen now you have been talking for a while about insight you said it too. No, no 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 uh, not just now i'm talking about like months ago oh you bring up this, you bring up the term insight, oh. right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Are you prepared to share something? Tonight, to tomorrow, me? I will be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for the 16th, I might, might get a little more into insight. All right. Yeah. So we're going to pray and we're going to get off here. It's already been 14 minutes. Father God, in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. by the name of Jesus, we come to you thanking you Hallelujah. for your love, Thank thanking you. you for your correction. Thanking you for laying out before us guidance, counsel, so that we can know and understand your ways. Know where, where, where we need to change the way we think and understand why we need to change and how we need to change. And so, Father, thank you. Thank you for knowledge, understanding, and insight. That you would forgive us, Lord God, for every sin that we've committed. Your word declares that we confess our sins, you're able just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So we commit, we, 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 uh, we uh, acknowledge our sins and confess our sins Jesus. before you, yeah. the sin yes. that we've had, I mean, that we've done. Hallelujah. And Father, let give us ears to hear what you're saying throughout your word and a heart to receive and understand why you do what you do, why your way is your way, so we can understand it and then operate in wisdom. Thank you, Father. And we pray that our heart, and we as we've been saying, we have the, we have a compassion, we declare that we have a compassionate heart and that the compassion of Jesus flows through our heart. Thank you, Father. That we live a righteous life, that we live, that, that we are righteous because of Jesus, and we thank righteous you for that. Jesus. 
And so, Father, we thank you that we make wise decisions. And we cancel foolishness and the assignment of the enemy over our lives. In Jesus' name. We are no longer under a curse. So generational curses have no place in our lives. And we cancel the assignment of the enemy now in, the in name Jesus name Jesus, every generational curse Hallelujah, is that every Lord, generational Lord, sin Lord. is canceled Already in canceled Jesus in name Jesus. thank you Father. freedom 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 we glory are free amen and amen. amen glory to your name Hallelujah. that was the the compassion of Jesus flow through that prayer and if you know someone that needs compassion, show it to them. Give them the opportunity to see God through you in Jesus' name. Well, we thank you for joining us. It was day 15. Tomorrow, we're going to go into day 16, and we're going to bring in some information about insight, godly insight in jesus name we are arise kingdom life ministries i am renee i'm gerald and we, are, we thank you for joining us if you have a prayer request or a testimony you are always welcome to email us at we arise at arise kingdom then we also have ways that you can sell your seat into the ministry we have cash app dollar sign Pastor with a S Blackman, and then you can do Zell Pastor Blackman at live.com. We thank you. I thank you. I thank my husband for what he has done, Pastor Blackman. It was encouraging even to me in Jesus' name. All right. You you are blessed. Enjoy the rest of your